Hello guys and gals, and this is a movie review for Halloween Kills. Now, this is a sequel to the Halloween... I'm going to call it a reboot. I think it takes place like one... Uh, takes place a few years after the first, I want to say, or second um, John Carpenter Halloween movie. I think that that movie was released back in 2018 or so. Um, it was basically a retelling and basically retconned like the third and the fourth and H2O or whatever that one was. Um, and basically, um, I'm trying to think if it was the Halloween, the Halloween movie later, like four or five that they go and go into Jason's house and stuff. And it's like all like all. A reality show and he kills everybody I don't know anyways um, since John Carpenter was involved um, this movie turned out really really well I thought um, the ones that that didn't exactly have his guidance um, kind of fell by the wayside That's kind of what you have when you outsource movies or um, make unofficial sequels but um, this movie I thought was really good. Um, I don't know. I don't think I've done a, a review of. Have I done a review of Halloween? I'll have to check. It, it might be in the playlist if I have. Um, I might have done a review of that one, but I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember when it came out and when my laptop went down. And then when I got my new laptop and then I started, you know, making reviews of every movie I had seen after I got this new laptop a couple years back. So, anyways, um, chances are I probably haven't done a review of that one yet, but I did enjoy that one. I thought that it was really well made. Um, this movie was also really well made, and it basically goes deeper into the pathology, I would like, I, I would say, of Michael Myers. Let me see, make sure that, okay, Halloween is Michael Myers. Uh, Friday the 13th is Jason, and Nightmare on Elm Street is Freddy. Texas Ch Chainsaw Massacre is Leatherface. Um, I think that's, that sews it up. Anyways, um, this was, um, really, really fascinating because, like I said before I interrupted my own train of thought, um, it really goes more into the pathology of, um, why... Michael Myers it seems to be immortal. I mean, people can try to kill him and he'll come back. And um, and how he survives, you know, all these things that happen to him. Like um, nearly being burnt alive in um, a basement. Which is where the movie starts, is um, where the uh, first movie left off. But anyways... Um, it basically goes really in, in depth psychologically and even really far into the past of, um, of Michael's history, which is really, really fascinating. Um, they even took, um, or used, um, the same photo techniques that they did in the original 1978 movie or whatever it was. They used those exact same, um, photo techniques. So, um, you could barely tell the difference which was really, really good. Uh, it, definitely a way to make a sequel. Um, really, really... Uh, lots of good kills, too. That's it. I mean, that's the, the big thing, you know, with horror movies is the uh, kill count, which was 31 in this movie. Um, all really, really interesting and um, gory and graphic, you know. It's a horror movie, so and a slasher flick, so of course there's going to be a lot of that. Um, but yeah, the, this movie was um, very well paced. I like to think um, had some really good jump scares too. Um, really, really enjoyed that. Um, the move, the music was very, very thematic. One of my favorite horror themes was, you know, the um, the Halloween theme, and they kind of remixed it in this one, which was really, really made it even more awesome. Um, but yeah, um, very, very atmospheric, 
And um, it really kept you guessing, especially with a lot of the plot twists. Um, I thought the characters were, were well acted. Um, a lot of the returning cast, a lot of the cast from the, well, the, the, the 19, I'm going to say it's um, 2018. I'm not sure exactly when that particular Halloween movie came out, but that'll give you kind of a framework. But all the returning cast from that time, or from that movie, was really, really good. Um, very good, actually. Um, I'm not sure if they started recording, like, right after they um, filmed the first one. One, because the uh, transition seemed to be pretty seamless, but they can do that pretty easily, you know, with uh, all the, with editing and stuff. But, um, yeah, I thought the, it was very well edit, um, acted. I almost said edited. It was really well edited, too, I guess. But it was also really well acted. Um, the film was a must for anyone who loves horror movies, especially the Halloween franchise. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I thought this movie was really, really good. Um, had some really good scares. And it was a really good time overall, especially if you, you know, love horror movies. Um, but yeah, this was a movie that is a must watch if you love horror movies, especially the Halloween franchise. Um, basically it, it, it's a, it's basically watch this if you want to know how to make a good sequel, because, um, they do a lot of the things right. Um, they really get the psychology, right? The psychological aspect of it really, really good. But yeah. Um, it's just my opinion, of course. You can either take my opinion or leave it, but this movie is really, really good if you are a big fan of slashers and horror movies. But anyways, with all that being said, uh, if you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe and ring the bell so you know I upload. Also, if you want to support me, um, you know, I've done that outro probably 5,000 times, and I'm always messing it up. Eventually, I'm probably just going to change it. Let's try it again. Um, if you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe and ring the bell so you know I upload. Also, if you want to support me, do it again. Okay, where, where am I getting? I'm getting my outro wrong. Okay. It's um, way late, and it's probably too late for me to be making a video. But anyways, <clears throat> let's try this again. Yeah, I've only done this outro about 6,000 times, and um, I seem to have forgotten exactly how it goes. Okay, let's try this again. And if you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe, ring the bell, so you know, so you know when I upload. Also, if you want to support me in any way, or if you want to join the Discord server, all that information will be in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone. You are loved, and have a great day. Finally.